there has been such an important shift in my vibrational offering, my expectation around health, yeah. even finances where yeah. I put my head in the sand usually, but now it's become a sandbox, yeah. and professional life. The one place I feel I need a little guidance, and I've heard a little bit already, yeah. is in that place of intimate, romantic partnership, that co-creator. Just know that through life you've put it there. So it is there. And then get off the subject because you're trying to manage that into place it usually doesn't work very well. If you can stand in this place and there's an atmosphere for that here in this room right now where you accept that your life what you've lived has put it there and it is there and it is real and then don't try to manage your way to it because you always get it wrong you complicate it and you over imagine it or in the process you activate insecurities in yourself that don't need to be there and when it comes together it isn't even something that you're going to be thinking about it's something that is just so clear and so sure that nothing in the world could keep you from it and you're not explaining nothing to nobody in fact, that might be one of the best subjects to think in terms or to get so you can think in terms of this distinction that we're asking you all to make between observing and deliberate creation for most humans is so much about what I've observed and now I'm taking all the elements of what I've observed and now I'm contouring them into something that I want more but you're micromanaging it and overmanage it and your observation and the activated marbles of what you are imagining because of what you've observed just get in your way that makes sense to you when you try to plot the course we want you to accept that the law of attraction is plotting the course that you have vibrationally set into motion. And if you'll mind your own business, which is to not try to manage it, but just expect to know it when you see it, to know it when you see it. Jerry and Esther used to walk into a store, all kinds of stores, and nice people would come to them and say, may I help you? And Jerry would say, we're just looking for something to want. just looking for something to want and they would look at him like he was crazy but Esther knew exactly what he meant in other words we will know it when we see it and if we don't feel it when we see it then it isn't what it is so stay with us for just a little bit because now we're on the subject of turning thoughts to things now we're on the subject of turning observed collection of desires that we've launched as vibrational rockets that we really can't define that well into sensations, feelings of desire, feelings of interest, feelings of passion. It's like finding the feeling place, but awarenessing is even better than finding the feeling place because it's blending everything that you've put there with your inner being's take on it and all the cooperative components that have been gathered. You know why you can't figure out exactly how to make it happen? Because what's in that vortex now, listen to this, is bigger than the pieces that you put there. It's bigger than the sum of the pieces that you put there because the law of attraction has been working on it. The law of attraction has been gathering the cooperative components. The cooperative components have been messing around with each other and as they come together, they have become more than the individual pieces that you put in there. Are you starting to get a sense of this? In other words, it's bigger than you know and it's bigger than you can micromanage. So we'll get back to where we started here. Rather than observe it, which leads me to picking up aspects which I define and say to the universe, I want this and want this and want this. It's a little bit like that unspoken desire that we were talking about earlier. Did it come out of the void or did it come out of desire? Well, it came out of life. Your life is actually giving birth to desires that are even beyond your conscious ability to comprehend because it's moving so fast. This is the same energy that creates universes and worlds. And it's the same energy that flows through your fingertips of your mind. In other words, this is big stuff. You don't very often, hardly ever, lay in bed at night and work on your digestion <laughs> or the moving of oxygen or blood through your body. 
somebody texts you, what are you doing? I'm metabolizing. <laughs> Don't interrupt me, this is serious. <laughs> you just accept that there is cellular knowledge and that the cells are cooperative components with one another. And if you can just get a sense of the way the universe expands and that immeasurable power that you have to surprise and delight yourself. Friends, we're having such a good time here together. Don't turn this into shoulds and shouldn'ts and exercises. Don't make this hard. This whole conversation is about you making it natural and easy and just letting it be. Accepting the goodness and the worthiness and the blessedness of you. And know it when you see it. Instead of trying so hard to produce it, Esther was moving around her house the other day. She came to such a startling realization because she's by herself, often, usually. And she realized how all the time that she was with Jerry, she was just showing off for him. Almost everything she did, she combed her hair for him, <laughs> put on her eyelashes for him, <laughs> cooked a good dinner for him, bought the stuff at the grocery store. Not just for him but for another for the observation and appreciation of someone who would notice well friends nice as that is that's jacked up <laughs> because you have so much that's going on in your world your world is for you your world is for your awareness, for your devouring, for your satisfaction, for your interest, for your more, 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 more. It takes a little while to do it, but when you get everybody else out of the equation so that you're not showing off for credit or for acknowledgement or something else that they know, but you're doing it because you're in the flow of who you are, then you step into this masterful role that we're describing to you where you understand your power and you understand what's your role and what's not your role. And your role is not to make it happen. Your role is to point. So life helps you to point it and then all day, every day, as much as you can, just point. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, that felt good. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. That's pretty. That's delicious. That's wonderful. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Till satisfaction is just so normal. And then you can begin to say, I like that, but I'd like a little more of this in that. With a full expectation because you identified it and now you're on it. And now you've just goosed your satisfaction factor into a whole new place. Yeah? <laughs> Your time is now up. <laughs> we don't have a lot of time. It's perfect. Yeah. We have plenty of time. Um. Feel free to leave if it goes on too long. <laughs> Let's appreciate where we are. Yes, ma'am. We got it. Now what? We're playing back with you. That's what someone said to Esther earlier. What is it you're reaching for in the last three minutes? Highlighting our awareness of the goodness of who we are. Yeah, you're feeling that more, aren't you? And you know the fastest way to that is to look for it in other people too. And letting it not be an observational thing letting it be an awareness thing so that when you hear it Esther was watching a ceremony for an induction into a hall of fame and she was especially interested because there were several people that she knew that were being inducted into this hall of fame and then it was a sports thing and then there was a person who wasn't on her list of friends not on her favorite team list who said something that Esther will never, ever, 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 ever forget how she felt when it settled into her. He said, famous basketball player being inducted into the Hall of Fame. His parents were there. Apparently they hadn't been together in a long time. And he had his mother stand up and he said to her, thank you, mom, for not making my life about you. And Esther thought, that might be the most delicious thing I've ever heard. That she just loved him so much 
that she understood he had to go to where he was being called and that meant by earth standards a lot of sacrifice a lot of things that they didn't get to live a normal life about but he got to live this exalted life because she didn't try to hold him to her expectations she let him gravitate to his own and so that's what this day has mostly been about about a realization of the diversity of the world and appreciation of it not just an acceptance of it but an adoration of it letting yourself off the hook of needing it to be different of letting go of the things that aren't your work to control and understanding what is your work to do and you hit right on it feeling good is where it is and you can always find a way to do that maybe not right this red hot minute but if you desire it enough it will show up and it will come to you in the most remarkable ways you are a powerful bunch that is gathered here we could feel you coming and even more than our anticipation as you were on your way here has been our exhilaration as we've gone along this stronger path together in other words we did we took thought to places it has not been before and your point of attraction has shifted and you'll see some things manifesting that will surprise and delight you but the true nugget of the true work is to acknowledge that you're never going to be complete and so that impatience of not being there yet you want to let go of that you want to make peace with where you are say to yourself well that's about right and then say no that is right that's just right it's coming to me exactly as I am and with this awareness this emotional feeling knowledge now I have an idea of what I want to do next so we want to give you a message from your inner being from your inner beings that we don't just show up in situations like this we're haunting you all the time <laughs> and if you feel for us what you're going to feel is not exactly approval because we do not believe in disapproval so it's not like approval it's appreciation it's appreciation for your willingness to explore and expand and separate further from yourself than you really want to and then realize that that has happened and then do something about it that's really what eternal living has to be you can't be impatient about what has not manifested you have to be satisfied with what is and eager for more there is great love here for you there's great love here for you and appreciation take it easy we are mm -hmm. if you like this video don't forget to subscribe we'll see you in the next